Hi guys, now we are building a computer, so point is that we need to build a computer for the new DaVinci Resolve 15 and if it doesn't work, then we install Hackintosh. On this set and we'll use Final Cut software. Alright, so go ahead. Hello to all lovers of editing the video in real time. Sergey Kazachenkov is with you. Today we will talk about building a computer with a budget of $1000 for new DaVinci Resolve 15. About why we changed Final Cut on macOS to the DaVinci Resolve. What's hidden behind this green dome? Who am I and why am I sitting here and where is Andre? Uh, we need a computer to edit 4K video in real time mainly for making YouTube content. And perhaps this computer will sometimes be used to produce commercials and presentation films if it can. But it's a secondary, provided that it can handle it, if you understand me correctly. First of all, I would like to say all lovers of high-end PC, all lovers of certain brands and so on. We have no task to hack someone. And so on. Our goal is to assemble a workhorse for the tasks that face in our company. That's all and nothing more. But first let's take a look at this pile. And maybe there are not PC parts over there and maybe Andrew is sitting here. No, it's parts. So, let's start with the main thing. So, what task are facing our company? Right now our company facing the task of publishing videos on YouTube. All video production process we do on the iMac 27 late 2012. Yes, it's also PC in general and itself not so new, but on the other hand, it's not a complete jump. And we use the Final Cut software as a cornerstone. Accordingly, we want to update our computer and get something more interesting. And if we stay on the Final Cut software, accordingly, we just need to get a new iMac. We came up with such an idea, why don't we change, for example, to another platform and try other video editing softwares? Yes, I'm talking about Adobe Premiere Pro, which for us basically is a long forgotten past. And what about going to the DaVinci software? Uh, why do we choose DaVinci? Now we are editing and making color correction in Final Cut, but the tools over here are not as professional as in DaVinci. Yes, you can say that the finished project can be exported to the DaVinci software and it can be painted there, but these rakes are so big that not even fit on the screen, and we don't want to do it every week. Therefore, we want editing in DaVinci, especially in the latest versions. They do a very good editing interface over there, and we have an opportunity to work in a single window. It's a very cool feature. We load the footage into DaVinci, select what we need, edit in DaVinci, make color correction in DaVinci, edit the sound in DaVinci, and export the finished file. It will be amazing. And based on that, we came up with this idea, how could we climb a palm tree and eat a banana at the same time? Accordingly, we decided to assemble such a build, which will work equally well with both Windows and Mac operation systems. And if there is a case we really don't like a result, I mean the DaVinci Resolve 15, respectively, we can return to the Mac OS via Hackintosh. Uh, yes, uh, through the same place. Uh, well, let's start with what platform we decided to build. First, we decided to use Z370 chipset, and we choose the Athrock motherboard. Accordingly, we decided to put into this motherboard processor by Intel, i7-8700, because in our experience and accordingly to amount of work that we have, we don't need an unlocked multiplayer. This frequency should be enough for our tasks. Next, we will probably talk about RAM, and here it lies directly above, here is a well-dressed with fashionable white cooling radiators, I don't know how necessary they are. This is Kingston Fury HyperX DDR4 with frequency 2400 MHz and with timing so 15-15-15. And most importantly, that we have it right now!
So what about cooling system for our processor? We have chosen product from Deepcool and if I'm not wrong, it is Gamax 300. It's got 120 mm fan, pretty good cooling, pretty white gills in an aluminum radiator, which should not be clogged with the dust and in addition six copper tubes. In principle, that should be enough. So what about storage for our operation system? We spent long time thinking about and decided that it definitely should be the SSD. But the question is, should we take the usual SSD or take M2 SSD? And we have chosen M2 SSD, because it's two or even three times quicker at some point, accordingly to the modern prices. It costs just the same. That's the point, the same amount of memory can be purchased for the same price, but only if your motherboard supports M2 slot. That's all. We bought Samsung SSD 970 EVO with 250 GB. We think that is quite enough for our operations, because all editing is going on external hard drives anyway, and if there are some heavy files or some heavy scenes, they can be rendered through M.2 SSD, which is also very important. We choose Zelman S2 MIDI Tower, because in our opinion it's the most suitable one, it's a MIDI Tower. It's not big and not small. It's not a full tower, it's not a server chassis that can hold anything. It looks pretty nice and ascetic. And most importantly, it breathes, and it breathes pretty well. If we talk about the question why we didn't take some fashionable case with lighting or something else, it's simply, we don't need it. All these mechanical robots and transformers, decepticons, whatever, we simply don't need all that. Also, we will not dissuade you from this. You can even use a fruit box, whatever, if you like it. And finally, I will tell this moment that you might thought that we missed, but no, we remember all that. So, here is a power supply unit, and yes, it really have only 450 watts. Yes, if you put a more or less powerful graphics card, it may not be enough, but the whole secret is that we have another power supply unit, CX750 by 750 watts from Carcer. In my opinion, as far as I remember, I have silver or gold certificate, can't say for sure, but in this case it's not so important. It's the donor who will go instead of a cursor on the computer where now sits the other guy, his name is also Sergey. Like me, Sergey, our team consists only of Sergeys. A few words about why there is no me in this video. Sergey works in our company and he is responsible for video editing, creating and maintaining content. He is very good at telling interesting stories. I would like to see him in the next video. Please write in the comments if you are interested to see videos with Sergey and what are you thinking about it. As Blackmagic company recommended for minimum technical requirements at the very minimum case, you should take something from the category of microwaves, put the toaster into it, screw in a light bulb and that should be enough. But we understand that for editing in real time, especially 4K video, to put it mildly, that is not enough. Accordingly, we decided to test DaVinci Resolve software on different builds. We just started with the wildest stretch, with an old office PC, and just let me say, real-time of course would not work at all of these builds, but the result was quite interesting, while taking into account a small number of RAM and pretty weak processor, but if there is a pretty strong graphic card, at least for those times some kind of RX 570 graphics card, we got the result is pretty close to editing in real-time. To the question about the graphics card, yes, there is not any graphics card right now, but that doesn't mean that we don't have it at all. Do you remember when two years ago there was a shortage of graphics cards because of the cryptocurrency and because of the problems with raw materials in the production of integrated memory chips? So we caught this moment and now it's a very relevant one. Cryptocurrency in... How better to say, in the S, in the S, in the S, and maybe in the fifth point, where is it? Uh, shit happens, so would tell you now any guys who trade crypto, because cryptocurrency pretty much dumped for now, and it says that a lot of graphics cards are now sale after cryptocurrency mining.
Авито. Мы определились, что это будет для теста 1080. 1080 in paired with 2700K processor, and the results seemed very interesting. First, we got real time. Second, we got 4K video rendering speed and four times faster than Final Cut on our old iMac. According to the results of all tests, we decided that the cards such as GTX 1050 Ti will not be enough, and such as 1080 will be too much, even it will be not too much of power, but too much of money. For our tasks, this will be unnecessary, and we would overpay. So we have chosen GTX 1060 with 6 GB on the board, with white color and with two fans. In the next video, we'll test our build. We'll look at how the DaVinci Resolve will handle these components. We will know could Hackintosh be installed on this build or we should stay on Win. I mean on Windows OS, but it sounded as a drug from Fallout game. Finally, we will look at these results and sum it up. We will tell you what we liked more, Final Cut, which we use right now, or the DaVinci Resolve. And certainly, all that we will pack in a beautiful visuals and share with you on our channel. See you soon, guys. Bye!